Hi, this is the monthly horoscope for Cancer for the month of October 2022. Hello, my fabulous crabs. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And I think this week I'm going to do the daily horoscopes and then work on doing the weekly horoscopes for next week as well. So be sure to subscribe so you know when they are coming up. So on the 2nd uh, at 5.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury went direct in the sign of Virgo. So during this time period, not the best time for gossiping. Also, we're still under Mercury retrograde shadow period till the 16th. So that means that we are still under the influence of Mercury in retrograde. I feel this is not the best time to be talking smack about other people because it could get back to them. So this is in your third house of communications. You can expect misunderstandings. You can find that other people are keeping tabs on you, like family members, you know, kind of spying on you at this time or keeping an eye out on your social media um, page as well and seeing what's going on with you especially family members that you haven't spoken to in like eons years they could be like watching you and stuff like that um, also this could be dealing with nosy neighbors and you could find that nosy neighbors have nothing better to do with their time but to sit and watch you and to give you a hard time um, with this energy also be careful with emails that you send during work or even phone conversations don't be making personal calls on on their phone because you could find that you're being recorded so you get the idea you're being spied on at this time and people are watching you or people at work are watching what you post on the social media so try not to throw any rants at this time with this energy um, those of you in your late teens or early 20s parents can be watching your text messages messages and who you're calling or you can have they could be watching who you have a crush on for others of you, it could be a difficult um, for you to make a move around the home or your neighborhood because you have nosy neighbors that have nothing better to do with their time. Also, you're not getting along with others. You can be fighting with certain injustices or things that you feel like are a bit unfair in your life. Or you could be fighting with siblings or family members who don't live close to you, but you're butting heads with them. On the 8th, Pluto goes direct at 5 55 p.m eastern standard time in the seventh house and also in your eighth house in the seventh house this could be reconnecting with old friends especially if you're going through it at this time you could be seeking them out with this energy and you could find yourself reaching out to them for others of you, you could be finding out uh, you can be um friends could be coming out of the woodwork at this time pluto is quintiling your south node People in your life can be changing um, your mind and your opinion, especially friends that you come in contact with at work or other people in your life can be giving you a different perspective on life or like, um, you know, some of you, some crabs, because you live at, a lot of crabs live at home, especially those of you um, in your late 30s through teens and you know it could be a situation where like you know people you're very sheltered so it could be like people are giving you perspective on life experiences and what life experience has taught them okay um because some of you have a different way of looking at life and so they're teaching you to look at life in another way at this time this is a great time for talk therapy this is a time of emotional maturity and growth when it comes to your interactions with other people and learning to accept others for their opinions in the eighth house new love is coming in a beautiful time for growth with love relationships and taking your relationship to the next level this could also be money coming in a great job for career and you benefit through other people on the 9th 4 55 p.m eastern standard time the full moon in aries in the 10th house not the easiest energy for you emotionally you could be really going through it at this time you may not be getting along with family or friends or even co-workers you just feel like things are very intense uh, you have a t-square happening with the first fourth and tenth house so this is you dealing with things emotionally you can be fighting at the home with this energy as well and you can be fighting with your live-in lover at this time as well or you're not getting along with kids or you could be um, not getting along with um, family members at this time and you could be fighting with them um, there could and children can seem to be a handful you may be fighting with family members and family members that live outside the home or if you live with mother then you could be fighting with the siblings around that live around there so this is be about bigger picture especially when it comes to love relationships be about the bigger picture 
you're butting heads with your partner. If you're living with your with your partner, you're really fighting with them, okay? Um, this could be unexpected changes coming up in regards to career. Some setbacks are happening in regards to your partner's future with career, and it could be affecting you and making you worried at this time as well. This could be a time of growth and things you were promised to happen, but because of money, the weather, you know, budget costs and changes that came up suddenly, you're being overlooked for it right now. There's other things going on that they're going to be focusing on. Um, unexpected expenditures could come up at this time obligations to family members that don't necessarily want you to do or coming up and they may cost you money on top of that on the 10th at 7 51 p.m eastern standard time mercury enters libra this in your fourth house so this could be thoughts of moving at this time your emotional life your relationships with those that you live with at this time this could be thoughts of moving traveling could be coming up for some of you for some of you it could be in hermit mode this could be like work at home work at home you have a stellum also happening in your fifth house in the sign of scorpio so so at the same time, even though you're quiet, you could be super quiet at this time and more in your invested in your emotional life because you have a bit of a stellum happening in your fourth house. Then you have this stellum all through October happening in your fifth house. So this could be a really emotional time for you as well with this energy. Also, it could be a busy time for you with lots going on. You can be more invested in other people's drama, but be careful when it comes to love relationships because your partner could be feeling neglected at this time. You can be dealing with separation and loss. This can be whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. So there's a lot going on with the fifth house energy. Also, in regards to career, there could be a lot of things that are a bit unfair or a bit one-sided. And you may not be on speaking terms with certain people at work with this energy or that you could be really butting heads with them. You could also be suspicious of others so be careful with that be careful with the self-talk and trying to predict other people's moves you think you know but you don't then on the 23rd saturn goes direct at 1207 a.m eastern standard time so this could be about changes in the eighth house so your money sector could be changing for the better especially for those of you who have businesses it's a great time for business picking up if you're dealing with the government and government agencies you can have a lot easier time or if you're dealing with court this could be court resuming at this time with this energy or giving you a chance to help prove yourself with certain things like social services this would be a great time for that if you've been waiting to move then you can be making plans to move or actively looking um, to move a uh, partner this could be Libra in the fourth house you could be changing your mind in regards to love relationships or this could be something coming up in the future that you're planning on doing on the 23rd 352 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Venus and Scorpio in the fifth house tons of energy in the fifth house busy time for you you're more about your social life um, those of you who are in your late teens and um, like, like late teens and like until like 25 years of age, you're really going to feel the effects of this en of these energies here in the fifth house, okay? So this is, um, so basically the same theme song is going to be a busy time for you. You're gonna be more invested in your friends, but at the same time, you're not very open about your emotional life and what's going on with you at this time. You're rather secretive in regards to your opinions and what's going on with your emotional life, okay? You love being in a routine you do well when you stick to a routine as well um, weather could be like um, rain or snow happening during this time period as well for some of you and this could be getting an early winter um, so that could be happening you could be like visiting all the festivals and fairs that are going on and haunted houses just being really more out and about at this time and like spending time with friends visiting them at their houses you know just being away from home I feel also you're not very open about your feelings at this time like I said and this is for like for the whole month of October and you're tolerating a lot of situations at this time for the whole month of October talking about like now okay and you're keeping more to yourself you don't like to talk about your feelings and you do feel things very intensely at this time this could be a new love coming in Scorpio or an Aquarius or Libra and this can be or an Aries 
and then for some of you you're still dealing with a breakup and getting over a breakup at this time and you're not getting along with father figure in your life or those in authority you can be butting heads with them and you really need your thank you at this time you really need to feel appreciated you need your acknowledgement at this time so you can be when you're in your routine happy or bubbly or optimistic or you could be an emotional hot mess so it's up to you where you want to go with this then on the 23rd 6 35 a.m sun enters scorpio busy time period for you you can be going through it emotionally like complaining and stuff like that and you're very kind but selfish at the same time and you're not very mindful during this time period you're more about your feelings and how you feel and what's going on with you instead of the needs of others now remember when uh, when you were going through it how much people were were about you and what's going on with you and your feelings now you kind of have to reciprocate that and now you got to be like oh how are you feeling today and give them 10 minutes to vent and bitch and complain and then you go in okay because that may not be the case for a lot of you because a lot of you are just going to want to dump and then be like okay that's it bye you know instead of like listening to the other person because the other person so try to be a bit more mindful of others put yourself in other people's shoes think about how many times they have helped you as well and you tend to be more about your freedom. You're more about your social life. So this could be getting into arguments with your partner, your parents, um, some people in your life, or even you. You could be possessive of your relationships, and you tend to get a bit catty, or you could be feeling stuck or stifled in the relationship. And then at this time, you can be thinking about leaving the relationship because you can feel a little bit oppressed, or the person's trying to create boundaries with you, and you're not accepting those boundaries. I feel like also you could be relying more on your intuition. You can be a bit of a mind reader at times and have certain people figure it out for some of you this could be a new love coming in this could be dating or a fun time getting your flirt on i feel like for a lot of you you do well when you're working as a team or you're working with somebody so this is a great time for group efforts and teamwork and group projects and also dealing with sports and this is a great time for that on the 23rd at 9 5 a.m Juno goes direct in the sign of Pisces. You may lack the energy to do much now. It's the best time to um, retire if possible. That maybe you're either hiding or it could be a situation because we're dealing with ninth house. So you can be more focused on the friends. This could be online dating. But for some of you, if you haven't been dating for a while, you could be a little bit like very sexual at this time because also Juno's not well aspected so these are like tinder dates this is yolo moments and cancers when they're really going through it emotionally that's when they have those impulsive tendencies and they're a little bit more explorative with their sexuality and doing things that they normally wouldn't do because they like to be traditional relationship booed up but for some reason for some of you because Juno is not well aspected you could be just being like F it and then just having your YOLO moment at this time you know and doing stuff like that and being very sexual um i feel like for some of you this could be yeah yolo moments you're more about your freedom at this time you can be ghosted at this time with this energy as well so be careful with those sexual um conquests because as quickly as that person comes in they're not going to talk to you no more okay um you can be you may have um let me see what else. Certain people could just drop you. It does not necessarily have to be a love relationship. It could be a friendship. And they could just stop talking to you, period. Okay, so be careful with that. On the 25th at 6.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the new moon solar eclipse in Scorpio in your fifth house. You can experience a lot of focus with the fifth house energy. New romance is more likely to start at this time. For some of you, this can be pregnancy happening, okay? Also, there is a new secret affair, love affair happening. For others of you, you could be trying to, this could be like an office relationship or something that you're having at school and it could be quite obvious to everybody else that something's going on but at the same time you're trying to pretend that nothing is going on with this person because you're just trying to keep it quiet and trying to not make a big deal about it but others are going to start to make a big deal about it children may come into your life parties and fun social occasions are common you benefit through symbiotic relationships a great time for love relationships new love coming in around this time you can be more about your social life you can be more about about your friends and invested in their projects this is a time period where chiron in your 10th house is forming a yode with Ceres in your third house and um forming um with the moon in scorpio so at this time this could be missed opportunities so speak now or else forever hold your peace i feel like this could be a time where you could be 
this could be opportunities opening up for you in regards to work this could be an opportunity for new love coming in this could be you tend to want to mull over things or you could be too much of an observationalist at this time and weighing all your options so this could be also miss opportunities coming up this is a great time for heartfelt conversations and get things out into the open whatever's been bothering you at this time and talk about your feelings um, with this energy or again you could be overthinking it and then just like letting it fester because you want to people please and you could be more concerned about what the other person will think of you or you don't want to lose the relationship so you can feel like you're walking on eggshells with some of your relationships then on the 28th at 1 10 a.m jupiter goes retrograde into pisces this is back into your ninth house so this could be um a great time for the power of prayer with this energy this could be a time where you're working on yourself with this energy i feel like this can also be learning disabilities at this time coming up so be careful watch your mental health at this time you need to slow down your brain and you're actually thinking about what you're going to be saying so you can be a bit more thoughtful you can be receiving a lot of clarity at this time this could be a lot of wisdom and growth happening for you and being able to put things into perspective you have the ability now to heal and mend relationships if you want to with this energy not a great time for those of you with online businesses with media and social media you need to be careful with the online dating as well because you can be very gullible and you can be scammed and easily duped into things that you don't want to do also you can have a lessons with those in authority or you can be you may not be getting along with those in management at this time or you may not be getting along with those who are older than you you can be butting heads with other people for some of you, you may not be getting along with those who are in authority like i said for the and this could be a situation um, for a short time till December where Ju when Jupiter goes direct it's not forever but again you're gonna have a, you may have to study harder in school at this time because this could be a lot of obstacles happening but it's also a great time for the power of prayer working on the law of attraction pay attention to your dreams because they can be giving you messages then on the 29th at 3 22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Mercury enters Scorpio so pay attention so definitely a busy time period for you again more about your social life more out and about um, so a lot of you need to be careful with this energy because this time period here is when you're gonna make some not good not so good decisions okay and it's not and you know and be careful where you invest your money all right um, for some of you especially those of you in high school or those of you in college this is gonna be a really pivotal time for you because we have this stellum for a little while this year and I think until next year and it's really gonna mess you up okay this could be a really difficult time with school and a really difficult time understanding the stuff so you need to go and do your after school tutoring stuff and stuff like that and you need to ask for help at this time because you're going to find that everybody else is going to be busy with school except for you and you're going to be more busy about your play and then what's going to happen is that you're going to fall behind you're not going to make the best decisions and then you're going to kind of screw up your future here okay or you may decide to drop out of school because you know you're going to be too far off with your grades this is like till december jupiter goes um direct all right so you need to be a bit cautious here and you need to study because guess what while the friends are playing with you yes they're also sticking their nose in the books and they're studying okay and they're becoming nurses or whatever whatever they need to be and then you're gonna be sitting there going I'm so confused I don't know what I want to do just grab a degree grab a communications degree something simple something quick if you don't know what you want because as long as you have something to fall back on that's all you need so see college as a thing to fall back on see your tradesman's thing as a thing to fall back on in case that don't work then try something else later on okay but make school a priority at this time so you're not struggling later on in life or regretting these decisions that you are making in your 20s in your early 30s you know so be careful here because you could really mess up your future and then you're gonna you're gonna be 40 years old 37 years old and living in regret that you didn't do these things in college and that you didn't buckle down and study in college just get any kind of degree communications degree 
the smallest, the easiest degree, something super simple if, you're, if you can't figure out what you want to do. If you need something easy just to pass and get your degree and be like, look, I have my degree, and then you could always go back to college for a better paying job because right now you're going to be more about, the, about your fantasy life, you're going to be more about the drugs, you're going to be more about your partying ways, you know, and you're going to be really invested about what all the kids are doing. Okay, and that's going to kind of screw you over. So then on the 30th at 926 a.m., Mars is in retrograde. So this is a great time, not a very good time for you emotionally. So try to namaste it down. I And this is going to be in your 12th house where Mars is already at detriment and now it's in retrograde. So you could definitely be ghosted or somebody's going to, or you could be ghosting somebody. Or this could be friends all of a sudden up and stop talking to you because they feel some kind of damn way about you and nobody wants to talk about it. So they're just going to just ghost you. Or you could be like um, talking to people online and stuff like that and you're friends with people online or friends with people from college and or friends with people from high school. And next thing you know, they, they unfriend you because they don't want to be your friend no more so it could be like situations like that happening i feel also that you know if you're looking for a serious love relationship until january 13th that could be hard to find for you so you can find a lot of lessons with love at this time uh, most of you especially those of you 35 and over you're kind of jaded or you're already booed up so this does not pertain to you but some of you who are jaded you're going to be a bit more selective and unfortunately you're going to have to kiss some frogs before you meet prince charming or princess okay so this can be a difficult time with love with this energy here but continue being jaded and just date at this time um you know, this is happening till the 13th with this energy. Mars is squaring Jupiter as well. So expect delays, expect obstacles. And this could be, you know, one way to look at it is that the universe has other directions that you need to go in or other things that are going on into your life that you need to pay attention to before you can move forward with whatever it is that you're trying to move forward. For some of you with the sun and the hangman card, this could be pregnancy or this could be something life transforming coming up. Um, with this energy as well be the birthing of something that you are trying to do in your life so this could be a start of a new project this could be a time of personal transformation of you this could be traveling or a move happening or thoughts of moving coming up at this time with this energy but this could be plans that you have for the future. So this could be something that's in the making for something for next year that you are trying to do. So this could be a time period here where you're going to be trying to save your money um, during this time. And you're going to be planning, buying your furniture, putting it in, a, in the um, storage facilities, that kind of thing. I feel like for others of you with the hangman and the tower card, that this could be a time period where some of you are voluntarily changing, making emotional changes in your life, acknowledging your flaws, acknowledging, not trying to be victim in your situations and acknowledging what you've done wrong in the past and kind of like taking care of it or taking care of your responsibility, taking ownership for your part. For others of you, you're ignoring those challenges and you want to be victim so this is going to be a time period here where wisdom is going to be thrust upon you by force okay because you're resisting certain knowledge or you're resisting certain ways of thinking or certain ways of being you know it's like you want to be right so bad that you don't want to see you don't want to change your mind like you're stuck in your ways of thinking you know it's kind of like i don't know I don't know, the bad example, a really horrible example. It's kind of like, you know, people who are scared of gays is kind of like that. Like you're so adamant about hating a particular race. It's, a, it's an extreme example. It's a disgusting example, but this is the only way I can help that I could just put it in perspective for you guys. You're so adamant about about hating a particular race, group, religious sect that you are, that you cannot see anything good about about them you know you cannot see the human in them how they are all human at the end of the day and like anything that they're doing is just basically an out loud opinion about who they want to be and who cares you know but you have to learn to love the human you know oh okay all right it could be a situation here all right that it could be a situation where you are so hurt by a situation but 
you refuse to acknowledge your part in a situation, okay? And you feel like you're a victim in the situation and you don't want to take any kind of responsibility for anything that you've done because you feel like you're in the right. So you're not ready to change. So the universe is waiting for you to change, but the universe is like, screw it, we're going to make this person change. So th they're going to bring about similar lessons of this situation so certain situations that were challenging to you in the past the universe is going to show you so pay attention because those are areas of your life that you need to change your perspective and outlook on life and you need to be more open it's all about love and empathy you need to show love and empathy to other people it's okay if we all have different opinions but at the end of the day it's not the opinion that you love you know like with politics how like how like the politics at this time have divided us like so much, have divided families, got rid of people over stupid politics. All it is is opinion, okay? And so what? So here, the bigger picture is even though you don't agree with me, I still love you and it's okay. Even though you hang out with this person and you know I hate this person, I get it, I still love you, okay? So it's kind of like that. You need to forgive people at this time. You need to work on letting go. The focus can also be on family, or this could be a time for your creativity as well with this energy. I feel like for some of you, opportunity comes out of nowhere this month as well. So be prepared. Be prepared for the unexpected at this time. For some of you, it could be something that you've been wanting and then all of a sudden you're going to get a phone call and it's going to be like, okay, this needs to happen right now before this person changes their mind. It could be like that kind of situation, okay? So this is a very positive time for that. I feel also with this energy, you're more about your stability or creating stability for yourself at this time and just getting your ducks in a row with this energy, taking care of your responsibilities at this time you're more about your security or your stability for some of you you can be very stuck in your ways of, a way of thinking at this time so work on being a bit more open-minded to new ideas or new things of, of, of thinking i feel like this could also be new financial opportunities can be coming up for you unexpectedly at this time the two of swords i feel like if you've been on the fence about something now is the time where you're going to have to make a decision about something okay I feel like people could be calling you and wanting you to make quick decisions. So you may have some quick decisions coming up. The Knight of Swords, this can be a busy time period for you as well. The World card, I feel like for some of you, this could be traveling coming up as well. I feel like, you know, Gemini got the same thing with the world and the tower and the hangman. So certain things are going to be out of your control at this time. Certain endings are going to be coming up in your life that you have no control over, okay? For some of you, this could be lessons coming up at this time as well with this energy. And this could be a karmic cycle for you. So pay attention again to the challenge challenges that are happening in the month of October because it's your opportunity to rise above it and to rise above your astrology if you choose to with the five of swords everybody wants to be right at this time this could be a time of perspective and the way you look at things you know again you have that stellum in your fifth house you're super sensitive at this time with this energy and it can be a situation here where you feel like somebody's picking on you. You could feel like others are attacking you at this time with this energy. Again, you have a hard time putting yourself in other people's shoes this month because you want to be about your good energy, your positivity, you, yourself, and I. You just want to be about that. You don't want to be about bigger picture at this time. So this could be a karmic lesson for you to be empathetic, to put yourself in other people's shoes, to be more helpful and less selfish, to just think about others. Even though, you know, in hindsight, you do do that, but you do it to an extent. If you're honest with yourself, you do it to a damn extent, okay? So this is something to think about when you're gonna be going through it, okay? The Wheel of Fortune card during this time period brings about a turn of events coming up for you with this energy. This is success and recognition coming in for you as well. For some of you, this can be a time of starting over in your life. Endings are definitely going to come up at this time. 
the seven of wands certain things can be a bit of a process for some of you this could be dealing with court with this energy or with homeowners insurance at this time the six of swords you know not the easiest energy for you i do feel like as i connect with the six of swords that somebody is taking advantage of you for some of you you could be walking away from a situation with this energy the emperor card I feel like you're definitely sitting on your hands about certain things that are going on in your life and you're not so quick to make decisions at this time. But not to worry because the universe is going to make those decisions for you and kind of take you out of um, certain situations. Some of you have your Saturn return on Aquarius here as well, okay? The Four of Cups, you're going to be put more in a leadership position. This does not have to be with work. This could be with family for some of you. And for some of you, this is a time of leadership and growth the Ace of Cups, emotional validation is coming up for you. I feel like, you know, pay attention to the signs at this time. People in your life can be supportive of the things that you're doing at this time. And they could be excited for you. Friends could be your biggest cheerleaders during this time period as well for some of you. For others of you, this can be a situation here where plans work out exactly as planned with this energy. So you're getting what you want in a situation. The Page of Cups, watch your emotional self. You can be like a roller coaster ride. For some of you, this is dealing with an older person um, with this energy. I feel like this person could be twice your age um, that is in a relationship with you or this person has power and influence at this time. But it's the Page of Cups. This person could also be crushing on you as well. So maybe nothing will transpire maybe something will transpire during this time period but it might be a while because it's the page of cups so pages tell me that it's not going to happen for a while but it's there for some of you who can feel more in line to your higher purpose at this time or your calling the queen of wands yeah new love coming in i feel like you two will i feel like this person will reach out to you via text message with this energy as well the king of coins i feel like this person's a workaholic as well with this energy you are going to go through trials and tribulations but the cards want me to tell you that you're protected as well the king of wands i feel like you can be dealing with somebody that's stubborn a leo and he's stuck in his ways of thinking as well i feel like he's very deliberate and he's very honest i also feel like for some of you here that this is a great time for communications for you you have a lot of influence over other people with this energy the six of coins i feel like you can be very generous or very giving or this person could be very generous and very giving to you or this could be dealing with a symbiotic relationship and this person could be going above and beyond for you during this time period the queen of swords is a reconciliation coming up with somebody that you once upon a time had a crush on or this could be a reconciliation with an ex coming back into the picture and they're going to reach out to you i feel but it may be not for a little bit or they're going to be creeping on your social media pages at this time before they come and talk to you because they want to know that you're single and stuff like that or it could be a situation where you're taken and then they feel the need to creep on in okay stay the hell out of your head it's not the place to be this month with this energy the Four of Swords, um, you have a great level of self-control. You're non-confrontational, but I do see confrontation happening around you. Stay out of the gossip during this time period as well with this energy. This is going to be a very busy month for you with lots to do. Um, the Justice card, this is a great time for contracts and negotiation. Court can be going your way at this time. For some of you, you could be spending a long time in court as well, fighting with people with this energy. The Magician card, a time for destiny is happening here. So whatever has to leave your life at this time, and this is probably going to be in the beginning of the month when Pluto goes direct, let it leave your life because this is a time where you're being put on your destiny with this energy. This is an exciting time for you. This could be as soon as this situation ends, your soulmate comes in with this energy. Okay, so this is a beautiful time for that. For others of you, this could be a great time for love relationships. This could be reconnecting with someone from your past. This could be a soulmate coming in. For others of you, this could be like a difficult time for love relationships. And, you know, this could be blow it back up and build it back up again um, with this energy, making the relationship stronger, all right? The Five of Wands, I feel like with this energy here, you find creative ways to defend yourself at this time with this energy. And the Hermit card, I feel like this is going to be a great month for you to mingle if you're single. You can be receiving a lot of attention. You can be reconnecting with people from your past with this energy here. I feel like all eyes are on and have a fabulous week. Kisses.